Hello, um, welcome to this next tutorial of FreeCAD. I would like to show you some um, tricks of how you can make curvy nice things like for example this sweep and or this uh, loft, sorry, loft is like a combination of several shapes and you can also do some other funny things like this etc. So I will just uh, show you a couple of things of how I did it. Um, this sweep, uh, I will delete it for you, consists of a sketch which is the profile and another sketch which is the path where the, this profile will follow. It's being extruded along this path. So this is just a normal sketch. I made it nice and fully constrained and also the other sketch, the profile, is just a sketch, fully constrained. Uh, so how it works is uh, you go to the part toolbar and you select the utility to sweep. Then you select the profile and drag it into the sweep. Then you have to select the path. This path contains uh, multiple uh, lines, so you have to select one and then with the control pushed, you select the other one, like this, like this, like this, until you have the full path, and then you say OK, and then it makes it. But hey, the ends are open, and that is not a full solid. But we can also, yeah, we could have done this um, while we were doing the sweep, but you can also do it afterwards uh, by going to the data panel and then go to solid and make solid true. If I now look at it, it's a solid, solid object that uh, you could print. So that is a very nice uh, thing to play with. Um, that is sweep. You can do a lot of things with uh, this and, um, well, just use your imagination. Uh, for loft, loft is a very nice way of making also funny curvy shapes and this works by combining several sketches. I will just delete this for you so you can see all the sketches that I made. So I take a, took a triangle, a circle and a square and how I did it is basically to go to the part design or the sketcher uh, menu, make a new sketch and then always give it a little offset. For example, if I would, I gave them an offset of 20, but if you, for example, add a new one with 40, then if you look from the side, you see, okay, I'm sketching here now not going to use this sketch, so I will delete it. I think you know how to make a sketch by now. And if we want to make a loft from it, we go to the part um, uh, workbench <laughs> and then the utility to loft. Uh, the order in which you uh, drag these into the loft uh, matters. So you start, for example, with the top or the bottom but don't start with the middle. And then I select this sketch, I drag it in, and then I put the bottom one, I drag it in. And then I also can say create a solid. If I say ruled surface, then it will make straight lines, so like really like the shortest way. Maybe I can show you that. So this is without ruled. And if I now turn it around, you see it has kind of logically follows the shape and if I now say here ruled is true then you will see it is going the shortest way so then it makes short more straight lines so this you can combine into many shapes for example this one and also here I made three sketches well, delete it for a moment. I have my three sketches here. This one, this one, this one. And they are not in the same direction, which is okay because then it just follows the 
basically the logical curve. So again, I go to part, loft, and I select, no, I select this one, then the middle one, and then the last one. And again, I can create a solid right away, but I can also change it afterwards. And if I don't select ruled, then it makes this kind of cool curve. And of course, this curve I can also use to make other, to combine it with other shapes. So for example, if I have this cube here, and I also select this loft, and again in the part menu, for example, I select an intersection of the two shapes, then I get this rather interesting looking object. I can make the sketches invisible. Again, so with these two techniques, you can make very nice curvy shapes, which of course is very helpful for creating interesting objects. So I do invite you to play a lot with it. And I hope we see each other again with the next video tutorial. Goodbye.